Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Ricky Tercios versus Bernardo Sapage. Ricky Tercios is 12 and 4, 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights, 1 and 2 in his last 3, 31 years old, 5'9 with a 71 inch reach. Fighting Bernardo Sapage, who's 11 and 3, 3 and 2 in his last 5 fights. Got absolutely flatlined by Vincius Oliveira 8 months ago. Before that, like the first round and a half of the second round, he was dominating. As soon as Oliveira reversed him, it was game over. 24 years old, 5'6", with a 66-inch reach. 3-inch in height for Tercios with a 5-inch reach advantage also for Tercios. The biggest problem for this one is the chaos, chaoticness of Tercios. Sapaj has really, really good takedowns and really good ground control. The thing I like him about, about it a lot, especially if he can fix it, is his cardio. If he can fix his cardio, he is going to be a problem because of his uh, his fighting style. He's really good on top. He has good ground and pound. He has good back takes. He, he needs to get a little bit better with controlling and finding the submission. Like he controlled Vincius, but he couldn't find the submission. And he had his back a couple of times, if I remember correctly. Tercios just makes a little bit too many mistakes for me personally. A little too chaotic. And I, I just think Sapaj is going to be able to, um, what's the word, capitalize on the mistakes of Tercios. So, you know, he has 12 wins and uh, let's see, he has four finishes. He's been finished twice as well. So he has four unanimous decision wins, also four split. So there is that. <sighs> His last one, he was rear naked choked by Robert Rosas Jr. in a fight that he probably could have won. He had him in a rear naked choke. Very weird. But I like Bernardo Sapaj in this matchup. Decent striker, pretty explosive, but really his his money maker is the ground game. So Bernardo Sapaj getting back on track. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.